unfortunately has happened again, SN4 no longer exist, has just make its last static fire. From the video, courtesy of NASA space flight, the explosion is coming from the low part, the skirt, and there is a possibility, that there were some leaks, of liquid oxygen or liquid methane, maybe from the methane loading tubes below the SN4. Of course liquid oxygen is not a problem, but liquid methane is highly combustible and expects only a little sparkle to explode. Seems that there were, more than an explosion, even after the SN4 was already down. The first thought was to the tank or tanks around that area, we'll see soon. From the images of the video we hope that this time the tanks of SN4, have nothing to do with the explosion, and the pressure tests made before are valid for the next serial number 5. Fortunately, the ground services equipment, have no evident damages, explainable by the fact, that the tanks are not fully loaded, for security reasons. Not the same thing I can say, about the Raptor engine, that I don't have many hopes for it, presumably destruct by the explosion. SN5 is ready to be tested, and also SN6 is in good shape, we'll see soon. Meanwhile, tonight 30th of May, will be the second attempt for the launch of the Crew Dragon Demo 2, the first manned launch after almost 9 years, of an American spacecraft, from the American soil. Let's keep our fingers crossed to Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, the NASA astronauts.